China discovers something completely unexpected on the dark side of the moon we've never seen before. That headline may sound dramatic, but this time, the science fully backs it up. Samples returned by China's Chang He, six mission from the moon's far side, have revealed rare material that scientists did not expect to survive there at all. This finding is now reshaping ideas about ancient asteroid activity, the moon's hidden history, and how water-rich material spread across the early solar system. The core of this story begins with a scientific first. The Chang'e 6 mission successfully returned samples from the far side of the moon, a region that had never before delivered physical material back to Earth. These samples came from an ancient impact basin known for preserving extremely old geological records. When scientists began analyzing the nearly four pounds of lunar soil and rock, they noticed something remarkable. Embedded within the lunar material were microscopic fragments identified as CI chondrites, a rare and chemically primitive type of meteorite. This finding was unexpected for one simple reason. CI chondrites are extremely fragile. They are soft, porous, and rich in water and volatile compounds. Under most conditions, they do not survive high-energy impacts. On Earth, they often disintegrate in the atmosphere. Even in space, they tend to vaporize or fragment when striking a solid surface. Yet here they were, preserved in the lunar soil. Their survival immediately raised new questions. The Moon has no atmosphere, no weather, and no plate tectonics. Once material is deposited on its surface, it can remain largely unchanged for billions of years. This makes the Moon an ideal archive of early solar system events. But scientists still did not expect to find intact remnants of such delicate meteorite material. Further analysis revealed that these CI chondrite fragments were not recent arrivals. Their chemical signatures and textures indicate they were delivered during ancient asteroid bombardments, dating back to the early formation period of the solar system. This discovery was formally described in a peer-reviewed study published in Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences, giving it strong scientific credibility. The research confirms that the Moon's far side preserves materials that are either extremely rare or completely absent in Earth-based meteorite collections. In simple terms, Chang'e 6 didn't just return moon rocks. It returned a missing chapter of solar system history, one that had been erased on Earth but quietly preserved on the moon. The presence of CI chondrites on the moon carries implications far beyond lunar science. These meteorites are among the most chemically primitive materials known. Their composition closely matches the elemental makeup of the early solar system, making them valuable records of how planets formed. What makes CI chondrites especially important is their high water content. They contain water bound within minerals, along with carbon and other volatile elements essential for building planetary atmospheres and potentially supporting life. For many years, scientists debated where Earth's water came from. One idea suggested that water was delivered by comets. Another pointed to asteroid impacts. However, Earth's active geology has erased most direct evidence of those early delivery mechanisms. The Moon, by contrast, acts like a frozen archive. The Chang'e 6 samples show that water-rich asteroids struck not only Earth, but also the Moon more frequently than meteorite collections alone had suggested. The survival of CI chondrite material implies that these impacts were sometimes gentle enough or involved materials fine enough to avoid complete destruction. This supports a growing scientific view. Water delivery was not a rare event caused by a few dramatic encounters. Instead, it was likely a steady process involving countless small contributions over millions of years. Each impact deposited tiny amounts of water and carbon-based material. Over time, these deliveries accumulated, influencing the early environments of rocky worlds like Earth. The far side of the moon plays a key role here. It is older and less disturbed than the near side, meaning it retains evidence from a time when the solar system was far more chaotic and active. By studying these samples, scientists gain insight into conditions that existed before Earth developed oceans, an atmosphere, or stable surface conditions. This discovery strengthens the idea that Earth's habitability did not emerge in isolation. 
It was shaped by a shared solar system environment where material constantly moved between worlds. In other words, the ingredients for life may have been widely distributed long before life itself appeared. One of the most important aspects of this discovery is not just what was found, but where it was found. The moon's far side is fundamentally different from the side we see from Earth. It contains thicker crust, deeper impact basins, and some of the oldest exposed surfaces in the solar system. Because it faces away from Earth, it has been shielded from certain gravitational and geological effects that shaped the near side. This makes it uniquely valuable for scientific study. The Chang'e 6 mission targeted this region precisely because it offers access to ancient materials that have remained undisturbed for billions of years. The CI chondrite fragments found within the samples show signs of rapid heating and cooling, known as impact melt textures. These features provide direct physical evidence of how early asteroid impacts occurred. By studying these textures, scientists can reconstruct the conditions under which fragile materials survived. This helps refine models of asteroid collisions, material transfer, and surface evolution across the early solar system. The implications extend beyond lunar science. Understanding how volatiles survive impacts informs future exploration of other planetary bodies including Mars and asteroids themselves. It also affects how scientists assess the availability of resources such as water for future exploration efforts. More broadly, this discovery highlights the scientific value of sample return missions. Remote sensing can reveal surface composition, but only physical samples allow researchers to detect microscopic features, chemical bonds, and isotopic signatures. Chang E. 6 demonstrates that targeted exploration of previously inaccessible regions can yield discoveries that challenge long-standing assumptions. It also underscores the importance of international scientific collaboration, as findings like these contribute to global knowledge, regardless of where the mission originated. The moon is no longer seen as a static, lifeless body. Instead, it is emerging as a record keeper of cosmic processes that shaped every rocky planet in our neighborhood. The Chang'e 6 discovery is not just about an unusual meteorite fragment. It's about uncovering evidence of how water, carbon, and life-enabling materials moved across the early solar system. By finding fragile CI chondrites preserved on the moon's far side, scientists now have direct proof that water-rich asteroids played a larger role than once believed. The moon has once again proven to be more than a silent companion. It is a scientific archive revealing how Earth became the world we know today. And with more exploration ahead, this story is only beginning. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on space exploration and scientific discoveries, and don't forget to leave a comment below. Also, you can visit our website, spaceinews.com. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.